wanted to talk about the trailer um, Queen Slim. It's about a dark-skinned couple. I refuse to call them black because I don't believe that Africans are black. Um, black is a term created by ADOS people to describe ourselves and to differentiate ourselves between us and other races in America. Um, America is a melting pot of different races and cultures and ethnicities and black people needed a term that described just someone that is us, just someone that is ADOS. Um, like everything else that black people have done, the term black has been appropriated by Africans, Jamaicans, Haitians, whoever comes to America culturally appropriates all of our, how we sing, how we rap, how we dance, everything about us is usually copied by all races, but especially black Africans and Jamaicans and all that, they come here and they're able to just infiltrate our culture much easier, especially, especially when they have children who are born in America because then we don't even know the difference. And they call themselves black too because that's a term that black Americans created and that's a term that we use to describe ourselves and that's what everyone calls us, black. Um, that being said, I'm not gonna call uh, Daniel Kaluuya a black man. He is a dark-skinned foreigner um, who whose parents are from Africa. So he's playing a role meant to be an American because he has an American accent and he has an American accent in the film and his girlfriend in the film is also supposed to be a black American even though you could tell immediately that she's a foreigner that is not how black American girls look at all even when we're on the dark skin side we don't have those facial features like she just has that that glassy eyed look that a lot of Africans have when they're when they're when they're brought up in unhealthy living conditions um so i'm not calling them a black couple i'm calling them an african couple so this african couple pretending to be black americans um is pulled over by the police and and a and the police is acting out of control violent and crazy and daniel is forced to shoot the police officer out of self-defense um so then they're on the run after that it's like a African version of Bonnie and Clyde that they're going to be putting out in American theaters, but it's an African version of Bonnie and Clyde. Now, I'm sure this movie is going to do great because it's an all dark skin cast, and I'm sure a lot of non ADOS people will see it as something like us, you know, like Jordan Peele's Us. Because he had an all dark skin cast, I'm sure plenty of people will see this as a, another version of that, something that is connected to that film. Um, so I'm sure this film will do great in theaters. I won't be watching it, but I'm sure that there will be plenty of reviews and plenty of people talking about how great it is and how mind-blowing it is, when I'm sure it's going to just be like a regular mediocre film, but because it has all dark-skinned people in it, they're going to praise it to the heavens as something, you know, revolutionary. When it literally says, you know, in the trailer, or yeah, I think it says in the trailer, a, you know, African version, or they want to say black, an African or a black version of Bonnie and Clyde. So it's not original at all. Normally I wouldn't even care about an all dark skinned couple in a film because dark skinned couples have always been a part of cinematic history. What I really wanted to say about this film is that I want to show ADOS people that your culture is being completely stolen away from you by these foreigners calling themselves black. They are not black. They appropriate it and steal our terminology and because they're trying to steal our culture. They get to live in a country with their language intact, with their culture intact, without the negative stigma and low self-esteem that comes from being a descendant of a slave. And then tell you what you need to do differently as a black American or why you're not doing as good as them because you complain too much because you hate white people so much when white people ain't that bad. I've, I've heard so many Africans say the most disgusting, hateful things about black Americans, not only calling us akatas, but also saying we complain too much and that we're lazy and that white people are nice to them. And it's like, duh, because you're being used. You're being used. They wanna, put, they wanna prop you up showing that, hey, we're not racist. Look at this African man right here. 
he's making six figures. He's able to support his family. He's able to have a business. You know, why are these black Americans complaining so much? Look at these, look at these immigrants. You are being used as a symbol to humiliate us and discredit our struggle. Just like right now, black people are trying to seek reparations. Reparations is getting momentum. And instead of black people even focusing on the fact that so many presidential candidates are talking about reparations, we're instead solely focused on something so insignificant and silly as colorism. Do you know why? Because the big, the biggest benefactors of colorism are non ADOS immigrants. They see that right now we are in a vulnerable point in our lives with all this police violence. They knew that we were weakened after that extreme gender war that black men and women were going through. They, dark skin immigrants knew that we were weak minded. So this is a tactic used by non ADOS foreigners for the longest time. They've always tried to do this divisive stuff, this pro dark skin stuff here in America. They don't try to do that in their country. They try to come in America and, and always pull that stunt because it weakens the ADOS community. The ADOS community has always been most powerful when we stick together. This is something that everybody sees and knows. Everybody is stronger when they stick together. And that's what makes black Americans some of the most successful, quote unquote, black people, because black is a term we created. But for the sake of this video, I know it's simpler just to say black meaning everyone globally. That is why black Americans are some of the most successful black people in the entire world, because we stuck together. And now we are allowing these dark skinned immigrants to come into our country. A lot of them hide who they really are. They hide behind black American culture. They hide behind, oh, I'm just doing a gossip video. I'm not talking, you know, I'm not causing any problems. I'm simply reporting on what's happening in the black American community between celebrities like Lovely T. She's African. Impressive. She's non ADOS with 700,000 subscribers. Um, these are the people that are influencing ADOS's minds. Now, I will say Lovely T is not a pro dark skin bigot. She does not talk about light skinned people like a dog. She doesn't, from what I remember, she didn't even prop up Matthew Knowles when he tried to pull that Beyonce's only popular because of her skin tone a year ago. She wasn't buying it then. She knew that Matthew was full of crap and is trying to get attention for himself. So I will say Lovely T has, Lovely T, Lovely T is not for the colorism stuff, but she, I have heard her say, very negative and very negative things towards black Americans. She never makes reports about Africans doing something incorrect or she never, she never makes, she makes sure not to put in her title Africans or Nigerians or anything like that. Like I never really hear her talking about anything that Africans are doing wrong in America or what Africans are doing wrong in other countries. She mainly just focuses on what black ADOS people are doing wrong and how stupid we are and, and this and that, and focusing on, on gossiping about our families in this country, or focus on gossiping on what we're doing that needs to change. Okay? So, you know, I, I feel like, why, why do all these immigrants have such a strong opinion on what Black Americans do? Even Peter from Real Housewives of Atlanta talking about how Black women need to stop putting blonde in their hair. And I know he was mainly criticizing black ADOS women. I don't think he was mainly talking about Jamaican black women or wherever the heck he's from. I think he was mainly talking about black American women, criticizing black American women. Why do they have such a strong opinion on black American ADOS people? Why don't they bring that over to their country? Why are they always trying to tell us what to do? So this is a stunt that dark skinned immigrants have always tried to pull. A film like Queen Slim is dangerous because it provokes white people. White people and black people right now, black ADOS and white Americans right now, we are on a very thin line of war. They're angry towards us. We're angry towards them. They feel like they have the right to be angry. We feel like we have the right to be angry. It's a very sensitive line between black Americans and white Americans. And these Africans are making these films that are anti-police, having a shooting a police officer, and then going on some love-struck, Bonnie and Clyde, love-on-the-run crime spree 
around America or whatever, or wherever they're going, but they're not doing it as black immigrants. They're not doing it as Africans. They're doing it pretending like they are us and they're not us. These are the same people calling us names. These are not black Americans and they're provoking a fight between black Americans and white Americans. And meanwhile, if anything really goes left, they can just comfortably go back to their dirt towns in Africa or their dirt towns in Jamaica, okay? They can just escape America and go back to their countries, leaving us to deal with the drama, leaving us to fight the battles, leaving us to deal with the bloodshed. Enough. They, they have come over here, they're separating ADOS people, making us weaker, making us more poor, making us crazier and more upset and more depressed while they sit back and laugh and take all of our high earning positions in media and entertainment. When are any of us people going to wake up and stop and put a stop to this? When are we going to wake up and stop supporting this? The person that wrote the film, Queen Slim, is that lesbian Lena Waithe, the same lesbian who was promoting to black people that we need to support these Asian films and Asian TV shows just as much as we support a Black Panther. Just as badly as we want to support black people? Is she crazy? And instead of us focusing on the fact that we're treated like crap and how we can come together and stop supporting these groups, we're focused on killing and destroying each other, calling each other non-black. Meanwhile, these Africans get to green light these million dollar productions, pay themselves an exorbitant amount of money, and all that money goes back to other people's communities that aren't ours. Not because of their culture, but because of their skin tone. Lena Waithe, the, the person behind writing Queen Slim, also was the same person that allowed one of her actors to sexually assault his co-star. And then she hired a dark-skinned woman to put him in check. And she, she knew that would shut up all the black women because God knows nobody gives a flying F about light-skinned women. So she put some dark-skinned woman in charge to put him in check, and he ended up being disrespectful to her too. And she was condoning it until ADOS women started to talk about her in their gossip blogs. Not these African gossip bloggers. These ADOS gossip bloggers started talking about Lena Waithe, putting pressure on her. And then she finally fired that man that was sexually assaulting the women on the set. Thank you for listening. This is Buku Love. Um, don't support films like Queen Slim anymore or, or Us by Jordan Peele. Let those films go because they're trying to cause havoc between us, Black Americans, and white people here while they get to keep their hands clean. We're not going to fall for it.